see all of you. Uh, we are, this is honestly one of my favorite days of the year. Uh, the Research Park Intern Awards are really one of our longest running traditions here. Um, I know everyone thinks it's the table tennis tournament, but it's actually this. So uh, let's, first before we start, I want to just say that this event is more than just the people that you see on these, although they're very important, it's more than just the people who you see even here today. It's more than all of us put together because really this is all of a celebration of everything that happens here, especially everything that's happened here this summer. So before we give everybody individually a hand, a hand, I'd love for all of us to give each other a hand because it's all of you that make this an amazing, wonderful community. So. My name is Laura Blyle. I'm the Director of External Engagement here in the University of Illinois Research Park, and it's my honor to be here um, for this ceremony and to help our team, this will be a team effort, give away uh, these awards tonight uh, because we really truly wanted to honor as many people as possible. I was telling somebody earlier that we had, this was a really, really tough decision. Um, I know that there's lots of jokes about participation trophies and things like that, certificates. Um, but truly, truly, um, this was a really, really difficult decision because frankly, there is so much amazing work that is being done here in the research park. It's truly extraordinary. The hundreds of student interns who worked throughout the park this summer have used their time to make connections with their peers. How many of you have made friends with an intern who doesn't work within your company? Raise your hand. Definitely. So you've made connections amongst each other, even outside of the walls that you have. Um, you've made connections with coworkers, peers, people who are outside of the research park or within your organizations, uh, and, and supervisors. And really, these connections hopefully will last a lifetime. This is truly uh, an experience that may resonate in your career not just for these few months, but for years and years to come. And it's a pretty impactful thing to be part of that. In the midst of your learning experiences at the research park, our student interns impacted, really impact our companies. The companies would not be here, but for the talent that all of you have um, and the work that you put in. Um, there's a, a, a site director I see here today who shall remain nameless that really will tell you all about the high quality of a University of Illinois intern. Um, and we, something that we've taken to heart, and really that's not a reflection of us and the people up here, that's really a reflection of all of you um, and the amazing young professionals that you are. I hope that you continue to showcase your inspiration, your motivation, and your innovation in all of your future endeavors. Um, and we hope that you'll stay connected uh, to your peers, to your mentors, and to everyone in your organization that's really made this a great summer and experience for you. Today we will be honoring interns who were nominated by their managers or supervisors for going above and beyond in all aspects of their work. Um, we want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you. We would not have this award ceremony but for the people who took the time to really uh, understand the work that their interns are doing to really put forth an effort. Um, some of our nominations were extremely detailed um, and, and definitely told some great stories about all the work that you do. So a special shout out to all of those folks. Let's give our supervisors and managers and everybody who nominated a round of applause. We also want to thank the people who uh, took the time to be part of our deliberation committee. Um, our committee is changes every year. Uh, we get people literally in a room uh, for about three hours. We go through all of these things. We discuss, we vote, we re-vote, we re-vote, we re-vote. I literally think we had more re-votes this time than any other time, not because we couldn't agree, but because of the depth and breadth of the nominations that we received. So shout out to our team, which included members of the Research Park team, Emily Neal, uh, Vanessa Abogo, who serves as our Vienna White tonight. So thanks, Vanessa. Will Newton from Kohler, Allegra Thigpen from State Farm, and Arpit Dewebdi from Cash Energy. All right, we're going to get to the main event. You're tired of hearing me chatter away. 
Um, we will just a few housekeeping notes. If your name is announced as a finalist, please come forward to be recognized and receive an award. Um, after announcing all the finalists, we will announce the winner of the category. Um, and we will ask the winning intern as well as their manager, if they are here, to speak briefly about the intern and their experience, and the intern to speak about their experience here at Research Park. We will be getting some photos, so if you are, we'd love to have all of the category finalists in a photo together, so it's not just up on these lovely posters, um, but is together, as well as getting photos of um, your the finalists and their managers, if you so choose, and the, um, the winner and their manager. So without further ado, we will now begin our ceremony. We have six awards that will be presented tonight, and the first person who will give out the first award is Emily Neal. Emily is our Assistant Director for Talent at the Research Park. She is responsible for doing many of the programming that makes this place special for intern, the intern experience over the summer, um, as well as getting our name out there on campus all year round. So Emily, come on up to the podium. I have one more housekeeping thing before we present the first award. Um, I want to recognize our internal Research Park intern team. We're, they're a strong team of seven, and if you participate in any of our community building events, like tonight, um, the hackathon, softball, table tennis, the workshops, missing something. Um, anyway, they were instrumental in executing all those and really helped make the Research Park fun. So I want to shout out Kaylee, Caroline, Vanessa, Michelle, Ariana and Lazar. So thanks to everyone for making this a really good summer. Okay, the first award we're presenting is Best Business Innovation. So we have four finalists for this award. If I call your name, just please come to the front and then um, we'll acknowledge all the finals before announcing the winner. The first finalist is Demi Apostola Coase of Cargill Innovation Lab. Demi's manager, Jen Quinlan, said in her nomination, Demi has been a part of the Cargo Lab at UIUC since September 2022 as a market research and communications intern. Over the past year, she's worked tirelessly to build up a global technology team's presence. Demi has worked to create a content strategy and start up a blog from scratch, exceeding, exceeding expectations with being able to direct, source, and edit 50 plus posts by the six month milestone. This summer specifically, she fully assumed the role of editor and coached a team of three writers. She's calm, cool, collected, well-organized, poised, and does quality work. She's very impressive. Demi's future is bright. Looks like she might not be here today. Um, our second finalist is Angeline Lewis of Agco Acceleration Center. Her manager said, in the last two months with Agco, Angie has worked on many projects across marketing, analytics, and customer experience departments using her skills and experience as a designer to create new materials and update existing tools and processes to make them more efficient and user-friendly. She's shown advanced proficiency in Adobe products and Figma. Her greatest strength is her intuitive ability to grasp the principles of user-friendly design, helping her complete the design of four dashboards, materials for a marketing campaign, and six projects in less than two months. Our third finalist is from Abby, um, Suyash Nagumali. <laughs> Her, the nominating manager, Kirsten Felt, said, uh, inclusion of diverse patients in clinical trials is pivotal to understanding how diseases impact different communities. Suyash's project for the Abbey Innovation Center set out to create a virtual environment to simulate the patient screening process. To build this project, Suyash illustrated initiative, leadership, and innovative thinking. Um, anytime there was a stakeholder meeting or presentation, she made sure she had the correct information regarding development of the project, or he would spend extra time researching more about VR, AI, and different models to make sure the team was using the best tech possible. So yeah, she's an exemplary team member, kind, easy to work with, and a team player in all ways that exemplify an exceptional intern. And then we have a four finalists in this category. Our four finalists is from John Deere, Madeline Heidke. <laughs> Madeline has played a key role in increasing in-person employee engagement at the John Deere office. For John Deere's tech organizations, employees are sitting in different offices around the globe and interfacing and engaging virtually. Part of Madeline's role is to focus on engaging and connecting employees virtually and in, and in person for our Champagne office. She's led by example to increase in-person 
engagement in the Champaign office, organizing events for all student workers to learn more about our customers and other learning opportunities. She's leading the design and installation of several new small but impactful enhancements to the office space. Okay. Thank all of our finalists. Um, thank you for being a part of the Research Park this summer. So uh, I am pleased our winner of this category is Suyash of Abbey Innovation Center, um, who I don't think is here today, but we'd like to invite somebody from Team Abbey to come up and say some words. Oh, there Kirsten's coming. Oh, we have a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, thanks everyone. I want to thank <laughs> Suyash um, for his contributions and he's here in spirit so we're simulating him. Um, he's out of the country visiting home before school starts up. I also want to thank Madeline McFadden who is his direct project lead for this project as well as two other students who helped contribute throughout as well. So if Suyash was here, he would probably be in the back, a little humble, quietly smiling, um, and that's a unique aspect about him that I really want to highlight, is that it illustrates how engaged he was to contribute to this project, but then also as a reflection of some of the growth that he had throughout this as well. So for some context, and thanks Emily for introducing, if anyone has ever watched Matrix, literally Suyash was given a project that was a white box. So this was uh, something that came out of our pitch competition for our, intern, our hackathon last year. And we wanted to try to figure out an engaging way to connect with principal investigators for clinical trials to increase our patients' diversity and recruitment for clinical trials. So he was given this experimental project and his contributions not only involved multiple stakeholders that he had to work with and leverage across the organization from our clinical trial diversity and engagement team to our innovation team to other students at some of our academic partnerships but he also had to incorporate brand new technology hardware and figure out how to integrate that into Abby systems and then also incorporate other um, tools that were created by students here at the Abby Innovation Center including our own in-house version of ChatGPT so very happy and excited that at the end he created a fully functional proof of concept and an immersive experience to train our principal investigators for clinical trials on how to engage empathetically with diverse patients and enough so that in one of his presentations um, he was presenting to leadership and they offered him a job on the spot after his proof of concept was completed. So I think that's a really good illustration of not just how hard work and efforts have an impact on projects, um, but then also the reputation that one builds through their interactions. So thank you, Suyash. Thank you, the yeah. team at Research Park. Appreciate this. Oh. So, next up is our Best Startup Intern Award. And the finalists for this award, our num number one finalist, rather, is Nicholas Fazio of Boston Bioprocess. And his manager had these comments to say about him. In his role as an intern at Boston Bioprocess, Nicholas was exposed to all aspects of building and running the bioprocess development service business. He perfectly navigated the challenges that come with setting up a very young company from the ground up. He is actively involved from executing fermentation and cultivation experiments to setting up lab furniture and equipment on the side and giving input on the lab layout as well. He understands that the priorities in a startup can shift daily or hourly, as the case may be, and reacts from being, by being extremely flexible without compromising the quality and reliability of his work. Our next finalist is from the startup Hynetics, and this is Yiming Zhao. Um, here are some words from Yiming's manager. Yiming willingly took on the task of designing and constructing a winding machine capable of precisely controlling the force and speed required of the winding process. I wish I could tell you what that is, um, but if you can check it out with Yiming afterwards. Um, uh, he successfully engineered a fully functional winding machine. What truly sets Yiming apart is his ability to go above and beyond the project's requirements. He designed a user interface with various useful features and significantly enhanced the success of the windings. Additionally, he implemented other valuable features such as displaying the applied force and including a pause button to enable the winding process to be temporarily halted and resumed. 
These additional features vividly demonstrate E. Ming's dedication to his work and highlight his exceptional problem-solving capabilities. Through his remarkable efforts, Yi Ming is contributing to the development of a greater technology that has the potential to reduce carbon emissions associated with global air travel. So there, you can at least surmise that a winding has something to do with global air travel. Um, our next finalist is Brisa McGrath of Natrient. Um, I know that Brisa is not here with us today. Is Yi Ming here, though? today. Nope. Okay. So let me um, tell you what Brisa's manager had to say about her. This is the second summer that Brisa has interned at Natrion, and she has become an invaluable member of the Natrion team and has made significant contributions to the research and development team's success. Brisa's role as a laboratory assistant primarily involves supporting efforts to prototype and test advanced solid state batteries. Brisa was instrumental in developing new in-house processes and know-how for the fabrication of novel electrodes and other components needed to prototype Natrion's batteries. Most of Brisa's contributions entailed process optimization. She standardized recipes, mixing procedures, quality control metrology, and other techniques that were later implemented team-wide. Apart from synthesizing components for cells, Brisa took part in cell assembly work streams. Her meticulousness and attention to detail made her one of the team's two trusted cell builders. With that, I will announce the winner of the best startup intern, and that goes to Brisa of Natrium. So congratulations, Brisa, wherever you are today. Congratulations on your accomplishments, and I'd like to ask Alex, of Natrion to come up and accept her award and say a few words on her behalf. Did an outstanding job over this past year. Uh, she started interning last summer. Uh, she was a materials science engineering student here at Illinois uh, and kept working with us through this through the school year uh, and then also this summer as well. Uh, Cynthia already mentioned some of the great things that Reese has done for our R&D team, but uh, yeah, you know, just uh, a lot can be said about what Risa brought to the team and the impact she made. Uh, one of my favorite anecdotes is on more than one occasion I would just uh, come up to the lab uh, from the office and it'd be like 10 p.m. and she's there and I'm like, Risa, what are you doing? Well, uh, you know, something went wrong, maybe not even her fault in some, you know, process uh, since this experiment. And without, you know, even asking anybody if it had to be redone, she'd just redo it herself um, and stay late and get it done and make sure the team got the data that it needed uh, so we could keep, um, you know, uh, keep our R&D process going. Uh, what we were specifically working on were batteries for electric vehicles. Uh, the battery technologies we work on are a lot safer and a lot more energetic than current batteries. So for example, we can make batteries fireproof and allow electric vehicles to drive as much as 50% further on a single charge. Uh, so it's uh, really kind of cutting edge uh, chemistry and material science and it can be really intimidating for uh, interns um, and a lot are uh, when they get to Natrion, but uh, Brisa just, you know, loved the process from the start, showed great initiative and um, uh, yeah, uh, ended up being one of our most valuable team members and it's a small team of 19, but still she, she left her mark and uh, it's really great to see her win this award, so thank you very much. I'm Laura Appenzeller. I'm the Executive Director of the University of Illinois Research Park, and Assistant Vice Chancellor for Innovation, and this is my 17th year at this event. It is one of my favorites because I helped to create it 17 years ago, and it's been really special to me to see all the students and what they accomplish every year. It feels like a lifetime perhaps of, of building all the opportunities that we get the fortune of seeing here but it's the really truly special people that are brilliant that make this place what it is and so thank you for letting us be a part of that our next award is for the best technical innovation and the finalists are nin jing is a project intern at aviatrix nin is a phd candidate in mathematics at the university of illinois nin? Supervisor Dr. Susan Heinrichs, who's Chief Scientist at the company. 
You can hear more from Susan on the latest Innovations at Research Park podcast, and she is our latest interview talking partially about what it's like to mentor students, and she's had a fantastic career in technology. But Ning's work um, is specifically a, a summer project with supporting the team to move to a network anomaly detection feature at the next level. She started by evaluating the current implementation and identifying some short fixes that could quickly improve the feature. The current algorithm analyzes multiple variables independently. This was a very particular observation which they were able to act upon in short term. Ning's work will pay off for Aviatrix during the next year and it will be used as an algorithm to drive decisions as they develop the next version of their network analytics features. She's also educated a number of the full-time folks over there. As an engineering team, they're learning from her and her investigations and presentation. She leaves them in a better place to move in different algorithms and product features. Next up, the next finalist is Aniket Ajay Lad of Brunswick Hijack. Aniket is pursuing a PhD in mechanical engineering with a focus on thermal management in power electronics using design optimization and additive manufacturing. Some words from his manager, Brendan Kelly, who's a marine electrification engineer at Brunswick. Prior to starting at Brunswick, he had tremendous knowledge of thermodynamics and thermal systems principles, but limited experience in systems simulation. However, quickly after starting his internship, he learned an entire simulation software package and was able to very effectively utilize it to generate models to the surprise of the Brunswick full-time staff. The problems he was presented are complex, they're ambiguous in nature, but he was able to find clarity, numerical examples, and apply fundamental principles. He has since driven multiple simulation projects, including development of complex system models, generating test requirements, orchestrating test activities at remote test sites, processing data and validating improving his models, and even with experienced engineers, this process typically takes several months, and he was able to do that in just several weeks. Congratulations. Our next finalist is, is Ganesh Prasad, a data science intern at John Deere. <laughs> Ganesh is pursuing his master's degree in predictive analytics and risk management at the University of Illinois. His manager, Dr. Jure Carter, who is the manager of the data science team at John Deere, said, he's a master's student studying predictive analytics and he served on the data science team at John Deere in Technology Innovation Center since fall of 2022. This past spring and early summer, he worked with undergraduate students and a technology architect to create and upgrade a dashboard with Python to track and visualize real-time data for sensor testing. He not only had to learn a new Python library, but he also had to develop skills in understanding data in and out flows, database architecture, and optimization for on-the-fly visualization creation. This is a display of adaptability, technical knowledge and leadership. And I know some of us from companies will be over at the John Deere lab tomorrow, checking out the soil sensing and how that world of data science has now merged with uh, both data and sensor technology. And the winner for the best business innovation goes to Ninjing. Congratulations on your award, Ninjing. I don't think Susan is here, but I see another manager from Aviatrix who will hopefully share more about his experience working with you. I'm really excited to have this award. Actually, this is my first time to do an internship in industry. I'm a math PhD student, and um, my job for this year was focused on creating theories. This is the first time I try to use my math knowledge to uh, build some models in industry and to help companies to improve it. Um, my job works on anomaly detection, which is we use we are using uh, machine learning algorithms to predict that uh, some net flow traffic have malicious. Um, um, during this uh, project, I I want to really thank my colleague Dado. Uh, he has a lot about building the algorithm. And I really want to thank my uh, manager, Susan, 
and other colleagues in our company. Um, there are many engineer uh, soft. Uh, they, there are many um, program that, that helps me to solve some engineer technical problems, so I can achieve our goal. So thanks for the team. Thanks for. Uh, the research park for giving me the opportunity to do this. Thank you so much. Congratulations and wow on all your technical innovation that you've delivered for your companies, Brunswick, John Deere, and Aviatrix. The next award finalist will be for the most competent and collaborative team. And of course, all of us know it's not just one person usually delivering all the success. It's a team approach for many of us. And so that's why it's always great for us to have the chance to recognize especially interdisciplinary teams working together to make awesome accomplishments. Uh, the first finalist is Ye, who is getting his ba her bachelor's degree from the iSchool, and Sarah Lin, who is getting her bachelor's degree of fine arts and graphic design. Both are UXUI interns from Cargill's Innovation Lab. Andeze and Sarah, come on up. Here are a few words from Jen Quinlan, who is Site Director and Senior Product Coach from Cargill, about working with Sarah and Andeze. They are UI UX interns, interning serving at a Cargill startup, Rescued. Rescued is a food waste startup and marketplace that connects food distributors, distributors imperfect and surplus inventory with buyers, such as local restaurants, hunger-focused nonprofits, private chefs, and even wholesale buyers. They have worked together to tackle Rescued's future features. Key initiatives they focused on have included creating a dashboard for distributors, delegating order pickups, and developing inventory status features and substitutions. They've employed an iterative approach, functioned from one-week design sprints, presented directly to client stakeholders, sought and quickly applied feedback, worked with client brand guidelines, and demonstrated quality, speed, problem-solving capabilities, and professionalism. Sounds pretty great, and hopefully we'll <laughs> eat something sometime as we're going to a restaurant that is impacted by your work with Rescue. Our next finalist group is quite a mix of students, and they are from Nutrien. The first student is Bridget Mason, and she is a graduate student in atmospheric sciences here at the University of Illinois. The next is Samantha Bryan, who is a master's student at Colorado State University in agriculture and natural resource economics. The next is Sahar Yousafi, who is getting her master's degree in agriculture engineering here at the University of Illinois. And last but not least, Sam Theobald, a junior professional meteorology student in Mississippi State. They have been working together as a team, working on digital, as a digital agronomist. Here are a few words from their manager, Michael Gionicus, senior principal computational scientist at Nutrien AG Solutions. This team contributed to an impressive amount of active nutrient functions, including product sales recommendations, contributing to an emissions evaluation, quality control and value assessment, troubleshooting existing IT solutions, and providing optimal methods for future interns. Within each of these tasks, the cohort were able to deliver effective outcomes with efficiency worthy of the organization's expectations for full-time employees, full alone interns. The team has been a model for collaborative development and has delivered beyond expectations, leading to the continuation and growth of this program going forward. Well done. And our next finalist is a team that includes Robin Hazard, who's getting her bachelor's degree in graphic design from Illinois, and Maddie Kwan getting a bachelor's degree in brain and cognitive science here at the University of Illinois. Sounds very smart when I read that major. <laughs> They are part of the UX UI team at Cargill Innovation Lab, and their manager, Jen Quinlan, had this to say about them. Maddie and Robin spent their semester as research and development team at Cargill, serving the Cargill Protein North America team. This initiative called Factory of the Future involved a series of cutting edge technology that was employed to transform Cargill's core manufacturing and production facilities. Their project included the use of computer vision of a beef production facility. The computer vision model is being crafted by an in-house AI team, and the model will unlock the ability to coach improved techniques for factory workers. 
The design interns created a North Star design prototype that focuses on gaining an understanding of the core product team's prototype and imagining how that prototype will scale to products. With aligning the prototype and the global design system for Cargill products, this has gained further proficiency in product productionalize their design files and rough prototypes up to an actual component driven designs that are easier to maintain and scale by future full time design teams. It is worth noting that this is both Maddie and Robin's first internship. However, our client was so impressed by Robin and Maddie's design acumen, focus, depth, and thought, thoroughness and recommendations of professionalism in how they interact with stakeholders. I've heard our client say when introducing our team, they're not like normal interns that you see. That's true, I think, of everyone who's being recognized tonight. So thank you to all our finalists for your amazing accomplishments that impress the socks off your managers. And our award is going to go to, for this category of team, Robin and Maddie from the Cargill Innovation. Thank you so much for this award. Our experience at Cargill has been nothing short of amazing. We greatly appreciate our manager, Jen, and the rest of our Cargill teammates for supporting us through this internship. We also want to shout out uh, the other nominees, including our fellow design team, Adese and Sarah, <laughs> who have also done incredible work this summer. Again, thank you and appreciate everyone at Research Bar who has come out today. Everyone in this category it takes a lot of hard work and focus to contribute to the magnitude that all of you do for the companies in the park. Um, and kudos to members of our design team. We've been really proud about building up our design capabilities here at Research Park and it's something we hope to grow for years to come. So kudos all. Without Laura's leadership, we wouldn't have what we have here at Research Park. So please join me in giving her a hand and really going out of her way to be here this evening. Um, she's uh, running all over the state of Illinois this week. So this was really important for her to be here tonight. And we didn't want to make it too taxing for her. So uh, we are moving on now to our most outstanding undergraduate student intern award. Uh, the finalists for the most outstanding undergrad student award are our first one. Um, Carlene English with Genective. Oh, I see Team Genective over in this okay. um, If you're not familiar, Genective is an ag tech company that's located in the building right on the other side of the mounds. Carlene's outstanding work as an intern at Genective has exemplified her exceptional qualities and commitment to excellence, making her a deserving candidate for this award. In her project, Carlene focused on refining crucial aspects of an assay conducted twice a week within the molecular biology department. This assay aims to identify toxins that can be expressed in corn to deter insect feeding. So insect resistant corn traits, that is the little uh, snippet of what we, how we describe genective. So it sounds like what you're doing is exactly aligned with the work of the company. Her research allowed her to identify the point at which no further feeding occurred. Carlene's dedicated efforts have yielded excellent results and brought about significant value to our organization. Through her project, she has contributed to refining our leaf disc feeding assays and protein detection methods, leading to cleaner, more reliable, and more reproducible data. And if you want to learn more about that, I uh, suggest that you talk to Carlene. Our next finalist is Asher My Arivian. Yeah, Asher! summer intern celebrity, I think. So uh, it's very active in the park and uh, especially with the hackathon and other things. Um, Asher's manager says, Asher is an exceptional student researcher and engineer. During his short stint as an intern at Rivian's UIUC Research Center, Asher went above and beyond his deliverables contributing to various aspects of the machine learning software inference pipeline. He specifically helped develop the infrastructure for creating test case using higher level frameworks like PyTorch with associate input and output test vectors, learn and set up the CI CD GitHub pipeline for ensuring build stability, educated Rivian engineers. This is not the first time that we've heard this about student interns educating the full time. I think I taught any of you at our professional development workshop earlier where I said just that. So this validates what I said. You all are teaching people more than you think you are. Um, educated Rivian engineers on the test infrastructure methodology and implemented new operator support in Rivian's ML compiler tool chain. Asher's outstanding skill to deliver on amorphously defined problems, his ability to deliver results quickly, his technical acumen and can-do attitude makes him a valuable member in Rivian's hardware team. 
Our next finalist is Charlie Dew with Brunswick High Jump. at IJA for two years and has been instrumental in our CES showcase work in building out our Unreal Engine pipeline. He designed and built the framework used for our boating simulations at Unreal and had collaborated in our CES project for two years now. And if you're not familiar with CES, yes, that is the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show that happens in Vegas each January. This summer, he took on more leadership into his role when he led the CGI intern team for our CES 2024 project. He stepped up to leadership responsibilities after a manager had to step away. He would take on questions, help the other interns, and take responsibility to make sure tasks were completed and to the quality they needed to be and more. The final finalist is Matt Straycheck of Ameren Innovation. <laughs> Matt's manager says, this summer, Matt worked on a quality assurance project to help validate residential billing data for Missouri customers. Any of you all a customer of Ameren? Woo! Yeah, Woo. raise your hand. Uh, not just Missouri, Illinois too. This project had been started earlier in the year, but Matt was brought in at the start of the summer to help continue it. At the point where he picked it up, the project was able to process less than 50 accounts before system limitations would stop the process. Over the next several weeks, Matt was able to work around the limitations and modify the process to become more efficient and process more accounts. Each week it was, I can make it faster. Uh, as of this week, this is the week that the, this um, nomination was done. Matt had modified the process to be able to process an entire billing group of approximately 22,000 accounts in less than 20 minutes. So, wow. Uh, these, these are definitely most outstanding students. Um, and it's clear that you are all exemplary interns, and as a result of that, we had a very difficult time selecting just one. So we actually have co-winners in this category, although you are all winners to us, of course. But the most, the co-winners for most outstanding undergraduate intern are Carlene English of Genective and Charlie Dew of Brunswick High. And thank you all for being up here. Uh, we'll give each of you a chance to and if your managers want to say a few words, you're welcome to come up here as well. So, um, I will. Carlene, you want to go first? Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> um, so this was like my first internship ever, and it was really fun getting to know everybody at Genective. And um, I don't know. I'm just really thankful for the opportunity to be able, you know, pursue my own projects for the summer. And it would have been, it wouldn't have been possible if not for those my team over there, so thank you. <laughs> well, I guess I'll start by saying thank you for making this such an interesting summer, Trevor. Um, I got pretty comfortable at the, by the beginning of this summer, and uh, towards the middle of it, I realized it's full of surprises. And yeah, <laughs> thank you. Computer graphics software intern, and he's been instrumental in the simulation work that we do here at iJet, both for CES, uh, which is an international technology trade show, as I said before, and some other simulation work that we do here with Unreal Engine. Um, the amount of work that he and the CES team um, puts in is staggering, but the results are just phenomenal every year. And it's been praised both internally by our leadership team, by our CEO, and others. Um, as well as externally by investors, by people who visit our show or visit our office. Um, but we all really greatly appreciate his willingness to put in his all, whether it be to troubleshoot an issue or guide his peers, teach us how to use a certain tool to complete a task. Um, Charlie's persistence to overcome the challenges that come up is inspiring, and whether he knows it or not, has a very clear positive impact on people around him and also the ones with our final award of the night is the Most Outstanding Graduate Student Intern Award. Uh, one of the fun things that we get to do quite often in our work at Research Park is to um, sometimes myth bust. So one of the myths about Research Park is that there's only undergrads that work here, of course. Then on the other side, sometimes I'll hear only grad students work in the Research Park. The great news for us is that you all get to work Literally, we have awarded and recognized students here today all the way, as we say, from freshmen up to PhD. So this really, this group of students who have been honored tonight really does reflect the, the wide breadth of the talent that's here in the research part. So our finalists for the Most Outstanding Graduate Student Intern Award 
Our first one is Muhammad Talal Khalid of Electric Power Engineers. professional, words from his manager, outstanding professional and engineer that is making significant contributions to the power systems and electric utility industry with his work on electrification. He has been a critical member of the team and has worked on projects including electric utility, electric vehicle strategy and readiness planning, commercial customer fleet electrification assessments, and a Department of Energy grant for grid-informed smart EV charging. Talal performed research and developed detailed presentation material and discussion guides for meetings with executive leadership, including the chief executive officer and chief operating officer. The expertise that Talal provided spanned EV technology, supply equipment, policy topics, rates and tariffs, and associated influencing factors. Uh, through the work described, Talal has directly contributed to corporate growth potential of upwards of $4 million and helped with execution of existing client contracts. Our next finalist is Sunjana Pai with Country Financial Digital Lab. <laughs> Site Director Julia Hartside of Sunjana. Sunjana has worked at Digital Lab for two semesters as a data science intern. During this time, she has worked on the following projects, MDM, System Automation, ChatGPT, NICB contact, contact Matching, Data Lake, Cloud Code Optimization, and as project manager for actuarial research code refactoring. All these projects require a lot of skill, no doubt, and understanding in the data space, of which Sanjana brings a lot to the table. And our last finalist uh, for this category is Sochi Saldana of John Deere Technology Innovation Center. <laughs> Their manager, Jure Carter, said of Sochi, Sochi is a PhD student studying agricultural and biological engineering on the data science team at the John Deere Technology Innovation Center, who has been with us in spring of 2022. During her tenure so far, she has been involved in a variety of projects and events at the center, uh, including one of the largest projects our center has ever done with in-field data collection around sensor research. We heard a little bit about that earlier. She did a large amount of geospatial analysis work that involved building out space-time windows, Monte Carlo simulations, and sensor analyses. She helped design the field data, data, field data collection process, data architecture, and data pipeline for the project and met with contractors and suppliers the company works with to understand the equipment the team would be working with. And I'm excited to announce that Muhammad Talal Khalid of Electric Power Engineers wins the most distinguished outstanding graduate. Many congratulations to you, Talal. Um, we'd like to invite Cody Davis to come up and speak on behalf of EP as well as Talal, if you would like to say some words. Uh, when I joined EPE, I told them that uh, I'll make sure that your name is advertised at least at all the departments within the university. I hope this will help. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so has been a wonderful intern in the past two summers. Uh, he's contributed, as was kind of mentioned, to a, a lot of different programs related to electrification and EVs, which is a very technical field. Um, and he's definitely got really strong technical knowledge uh, with that, there's no question. But I think the thing that made him really stand out was the ability to take that technical knowledge and communicate it to a variety of different stakeholders that are technical, that know nothing about electricity, that just really want to be prepared for EVs for their city or for their campus. Um, he prepared a lot of materials and, and directly engaged in presentations with high-level leaders uh, without being intimidated and without being like, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, he's energetic and always runs right at the problem whether it's challenging technically, whether it's presenting new material, whether it's developing tools, um, there is nothing that we gave him that he couldn't do. So I think he's very deserving of this award. Um, congratulations, of course, to all the winners. Thank you to all the nominators who took the time. Uh, thank you to everybody who's made this an absolutely fantastic summer. Um, and really, we are very excited for all of your futures. Thanks everybody, thanks to everyone who helped to put on this event, thanks to all of our judges. Um, and we look forward to seeing you back here soon, sooner than later. Thanks everyone.